Councillor Cordova. Thank you, Acting Mayor. Through you. My question is about the intersection, a street lighting on the intersection of um, Sandfly and Allens Rivulet Road, uh, specifically on the eastern side, that is the Margate side. Um, my question is basically, uh, what is the criteria that will be used to assess whether or not a street light is needed at that location? Um, what would be the trigger for getting a street light at that location? Because there's already one at the, at the other side of the intersection of Allens Rivulet and Sandfly. Um, so to get the street light at the other, other intersection, what would be the trigger point where we would say, OK, yeah, we do actually need it. Thanks. Mr Reeve. Uh, through your acting mayor, so for street lighting there, we typically have them mainly in our urban areas. So in the rural areas there where you've got, um, I guess, heavier movements of traffic moving through there or other conflicts with other potentially walking tracks or whatever it happens to be where there's a need to have some sort of light at the intersection, you may have one at the intersection there. Um, the other thing that we have to take into account there is whether there's actually any power there that's actually easily accessible to actually put a pole up. Um, I believe in that particular case that is not the case. So um, it would be quite an expensive operation to actually install a street light. Um, and yes, it's about consistency across the municipality as well at the same time. Otherwise, um, there'd be a significant expense to council if we were to go and actually try and put street lights on all of our intersections. Thank you. Is there any way of getting a kind of indicative cost or, as to, yeah, to be able to weigh up whether, and just for clarity of the record, I, I made the mistake of saying there is a street light at the Margate side, I'm talking about the Sandfly side. Um, is there any way to kind of get a cost, that way we would know whether or not it was feasible? Mr Reeve. Through you, Acting Mayor. Um, yes, but I guess um, typically what we do when we're trying to actually get designs which are, are beyond just putting in a street pole there, so it's actually trying to bring power to the pole as well, we would get someone like TAS Networks to do it. That does come at a cost, um, so I guess it's an exercise that um, there's a cost associated with actually trying to get an answer to your question, I suppose. Um, it's sort of a roundabout way of actually a answering the question there, but um, it would be more a process we'd go down there if we were quite comfortable and, and believed that it was um, one that was definitely warranted to actually have in that location. Thanks very much. Just, I guess, my final question on that, um, because it's a bit of a chicken or the egg thing, isn't it? Because we can't find out whether or not it's feasible to get it unless we get the costing to know whether or not it's feasible. I guess a, a broader question would be, um, in areas like Allen's Rivulet, which are experiencing quite a significant degree of growth, but they're also in a rural area, um, do we have a kind of policy framework for, for when we... For, for when we go and retest those things and, and pay the money to get the, the costings. Uh, at what point? Like, what should we wait for? Mr Reeve. Uh, sorry, through your acting mayor. Uh, yes and no. So we, we, we do certainly evaluate in a um, non-formal way in terms of particular areas where we know there has been growth and, and the traffic numbers have changed and or, or other um, things have actually changed in the area there. Um, one of the things that we are looking at putting together is actually a street lighting policy and that will actually be covered in that part of it. Uh, we'll make it a lot clearer um, and provide a lot more understanding to um, both councillors and the community in terms of when and what type of lighting we would put in different locations. That's helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Cordova.